If you like my videos, I save the coolest stuff for the Patreon. You can sign up for 10 bucks and instantly get all of the videos. You can quit whenever you want, of course. I do private tutoring as well. My email is below if anyone is interested. Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about characters. Now, characters are made to solve a very specific problem, but nonetheless a problem that 99% of games seem to have. Most games have humans in them, or a vertically oriented character. Most games also need collision built in, and a lot of other games also want things like networked movement. Um, Battlefield, Call of Duty, Counter-Strike, all of the players in them, a character would be perfect for because they are vertically oriented, they need to collide, they have networked movement. Now, a character has other features, um, but those are the three big ones, I would say. So to solve this problem, because Unreal knows that so many games need this sort of character in them, they basically pre-built this entire thing. It's pre-networked, it has collision built in, it has all this great stuff built in, and you can start using it straight away. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to set up a character. It's really easy. I think we'll use a template just to show you. And uh, yeah, let's jump into the engine. So back when we launch the engine, you'll have the project browser, go to new project, C++, third person, and you can call it whatever you want. I've gone with the name third person, and I'll see you guys when I've finished creating this. Okay, so once your project's loaded, if you hit the play button, you'll be able to run around as this third person character here. Now, uh, this is very, very simple how this character works. Now, behind the scenes, the code's obviously really complicated, but the stuff that you have to see is quite simple. We'll start by going to Blueprints, and we'll actually open up the character. And you can see that the character simply just consists of a capsule component for the collision. This arrow component is only in the editor, but it's just to denote which way is forward. The mesh is a skeletal mesh, which means that it has a skeleton and can animate. We have the camera. We also have this thing called a camera boom, which prevents the camera from clipping through walls. And then finally we have the character movement, and that's responsible for moving the camera, uh, the character around, sorry. And it's also networked, which is really cool, so other players can see you running around. And you can test this out straight away if you get a number of players, and hit 3, you can see straight away... that you can actually see the players running around on different clients. And you do that um, by hitting the down arrow and just typing in a custom amount of players that you want. So to view the code for this, you can go down to C++ classes and obviously just open it up like that. Okay, so what I want to do is explain the code behind this third person character. I want to show you how it moves around, how it does what it does. And in the future we'll go through and actually make our own character from scratch, but I want to kind of keep these videos nice and short, easy to digest. So we're going to go ahead and just open up the third person character. We'll start in the .h file since that's a little bit more simple. Um, we have a spring arm component that is responsible for uh, preventing the camera from clipping through walls. We have the follow camera, which is the actual camera itself. This is the constructor for the um, third person character and we'll be able to set up everything in there. This here is for turning um, and looking up and down and if you turn these values up you'll actually have a higher sensitivity I believe. There's also VR support in this project so you can see there's an option to reset VR. There are two functions that move us forward and backwards, uh, sorry forward and right by a certain amount. And if we pass in a negative value, it'll do the opposite. So move right can actually move us left if we pass a negative value in. And move forward can move us backwards if we pass a negative value in. Turn at rate and look up at rate are used for looking around. And I'm not going to worry about these touch um, controls because I don't really do any um, touch programming myself. Also, we're going to look at this uh, setup player input component. And then finally we have a couple of getter methods that will return these things up here. Um, but the actual logic for this whole thing is going to be in here. Now, you'll notice that for everything that our character does, there's not a lot of code here. There's only 133 lines of code. And so you're probably asking at this point, how does that 
character how is it so complex it has animation it has movement networking all the stuff built into it how is it only 133 lines long and the answer is that if you right click on character this is where the bulk of the logic is if you go to the declaration of this class you can see that this entire file here it's incredibly long this is just the header file for the character so all the power all the functionality is actually in here but you don't have to worry about this um, you know when you get better at Unreal Engine and, and learn the more intricate stuff you can try to modify some of this code however um, oh that was character movement anyway so yeah it's all behind the scenes anyways is what you need to know really all this code does is just set up some inputs um, it also handles moving, or sorry, looking around. So we'll start off in the constructor here. We initialize the rate at which you can turn. We tell the, um, basically these here are to stop the character rotating with the camera. So if you rotate the camera, the player won't rotate with the camera. Um, we're also setting up some movement stuff here, so orient, uh, rotation, and movement is true. That means that if I run forward, my rotation is going to face forward. If I run backwards, it's going to face that way, and so on. The rotation rate is set at this value. Um, the jump velocity, that's how high you can jump. Ear control is how much you can move around in the air. Here we're initializing the spring arm component, and we're attaching it to the root. The root is actually the collision um, for the character. And then finally we create the follow camera and we attach that to the camera boom. So you don't really need to fully understand what's going on here, but I just want to emphasize, look how little code we had to write to get this going. I mean, seriously, like probably 200 lines of code for a fully functional um, character. And that's really where all the power comes from. Unreal lets you get characters set up and not have to put in uh, so much effort to get all these features and functionality and stuff. I think in the next video we're going to actually implement a character from scratch. Um, but I just wanted to take you through this template and show you how it all works. So um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Catch you there.